What's going on, everybody? Ben Atkins here with FearlessSocial.com. Welcome to the podcast. Let's dive right into it. This week, we're talking about a site that you can use to dive in into your audience and really understand what's going on inside of the mind of your potential customers. Because we know that the more you know about your potential customers, the easier it is to sell them stuff and the easier it is for them to walk away from the transaction happy so that they come back for more. So today we're going to talk about how you sort of dive inside of the heads of a market if you don't really understand that market right out of the gate. Now, if you are already in business and you've got customers already, then this is not incredibly difficult because the real key factor here is if you've got customers, you find the customers that are spending the most money with you and you find the customers that you like working with and you build sort of your customer avatar or who you're talking to in your advertising off of that. But what happens if you don't really have that set up? What if you're moving into a new industry and you're saying, I I know I want to work in this because it's a hobby of mine or this is something that I'm sort of into. How can you actually dive into this and rock it out? Well, there's this cool website out there that we've been using for a long time called Just Media Kits. So it's justmediakits.com. We'll make sure we have that in the show notes, by the way. But it's justmediakits.com. And the cool thing about this site is it's a collection of media kits from big publishers across the planet. So what a media kit basically uh, is designed to do is it gives people that would want to advertise in that magazine, whether it be online or offline, it gives them an idea of who the audience is for that magazine. So what's cool is as online marketers, even if we're not advertising in that magazine, We can go in and we can say, you know what? I think that my customer is the same customer that that magazine has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Just Media Kits and I'm just going to walk you through this. You can't see this, obviously, but I'm going to walk you through sort of the process of how to use Just Media Kits. So when you first log on to JustMediaKits.com, you're going to see something that says Ad Sprouts Just Media Kits. So Ad Sprouts is the company that puts this together. What you're going to do is you're going to click at the top of the page and you're going to see something that says All Magazines. Okay? So All Magazines is what we're going to click on. And as soon as you do that, you're going to see a lot of different um, categories. Okay? So I'm just going to jump down because I have a business that focuses on men's fitness and bodybuilding. Right? So men's fitness and bodybuilding. So I'm going to actually click into that underneath the health and fitness. Now there's women's fitness. There's all kinds of things. Yoga, Pilates, pretty much anything under the sun you can think of, you can find it here. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on men's fitness just as our example today. Now I'm going to look down this list of magazines. Okay. I'm going to look down this list of magazines and I have found men's health. Okay. So men's health is on this list. That's a magazine that I fully believe the people that would want what I'm selling probably read this particular magazine. So I'm going to click into that. And on this page, or whatever page you happen to click to, you're going to see on the right side of the page, you've got a couple of links. And what we're looking for is the media kit link. So when we click the media click, we click that, it's going to take us to the media kit for that. Now this is actually off of the media kit site that we just came from. So this goes to your actual individual magazine. So the wording from this point may be a little bit different. But what you're looking at is audience or audience demographics. Okay, so we're going to click on audience, audience demographics. And what we now have in front of us, at least in my example right now, we've got a list of what their total audience is. So just to give you my example for men's health, they've got an audience of about 12 and a half million people. The median age for those people is 40 years old. Okay, 40 years old. Their income is going to is going to be pretty decent, okay? So this is a pretty decent income. Of course, it's about an 83% male audience and a 16% female audience, okay? Here's what's interesting. It's almost 50-50 between married and single. 50-50 between married and single. And we also get some interesting data as to whether they own their own home, some things like that. So right out of the gate, this is pretty interesting. Right out of the gate, we have a pretty good insight as to what we are looking at as far as our potential customer and how we would target. So the mistake that most people make when they first start a business is they try to talk to everybody. Now we can focus very much on talking to one sort of person. We can focus on that. So just a real quick mention, uh, we have a Periscope broadcast. And on that Periscope broadcast, we have basically people firing live questions at us as I'm doing this uh, particular podcast. I don't like to take breaks. I like to do them all at once. So my Periscope audience is here right now. And 
what I'm going to do is I, I promised I would give you know some extra things. So what do you do after just media kits? Because this is enough for a podcast. You can go take that and you can use it right away, right? You can use that right away. But how about we take it a step further? How about we go in and we start using what we just found even deeper? So what we're going to do is we just found an online website that gave us you know their stuff, but they also have online articles, right? So there's online articles, they have a blog basically. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that blog address. So it's basically menshealth.com. We're gonna take that blog address and we're gonna go over to another website called buzzsumo.com. Now buzzsumo basically does this. It's going to tell you based on a keyword or a website address, what gets shared and how many, like, how many shares it has and how popular it is versus other things. So the traditional way that I teach and I use BuzzSumo is I'll type in a keyword and it'll show me all the different websites that correspond with that keyword in the shared media. But here's the cool thing. You can also take a website address and pop it in. It will show you of all the content from that website, what's getting shared the most. So I'm going to take Men's Health from our example. We're going to take it over to there. We're going to take it over to there, put it in BuzzSumo, and BuzzSumo is going to spit out the most popular articles from that website in terms of what's being shared on social media. So what's nice about this is now we have a good idea of what people are actually interested in from this. And if they're interested in that from that website, that's probably the type of content we need to be putting out in our business too. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Now one more key little bonus tip and tactic here that's important to lock in with this site. With, with, it all started with Just Media Kits. So Just Media Kits to BuzzSumo. Now we're going to go back to the blog. The actual, you know, men's health is our example. We're going to jump back to that blog. And from that point, we're going to look and see, okay, now these articles are being shared a lot. We just found that out with BuzzSumo. Now, how are they monetizing? How are they using the traffic that's coming to that site? You know, do they have an opt-in where you can opt in for more information? Do they have a product that you can buy? What is the sales funnel that they've got going on? And that's going to clue you in because, you know, you could test all this stuff yourself. Or you could just look at what your competitors are doing and you could say, well, that seems to be working for them. Let me do something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to probably model what we're doing on what these folks are doing that we just found out. So there you go. That's how we use Just Media Kits. That is a rapid fire uh, technique to go in and really nail down who your audience is, nail down how you know some of your competitors are talking to them and what they're doing to monetize that audience and to add value to that audience's life. So there you go. Thanks for being here. This uh, will do it for this session of the Fearless Social Podcast. For more, visit us at fearlesssocial.com. I'm Ben Atkins, and I will see you next time.